Clay, B. Jr. back here in the cave to do another review for you today on a Shout Factory release. This is not Scream Factory today, but the main company of Shout Factory has put out a George Romero little known favorite of mine from back in the day. It is, of course, George Romero's Night Riders. There it is, guys, on Blu ray finally. Um, I'm going to tell you how it differs from the DVD from back in the day from Anchor Bay and other editions therein tell you about the special features. It's not so much a movie review, but a Blu-ray overview, if you will. Tell you how it differs from other editions. Um, back in the day, this is the last edition I ever bought of this. I, I, I had an old uh, VHS rip of it from back in the day, and it was really hard to find for the longest time. Then Anchor Bay came out with this DVD. It has some very kind of weird Photoshop drop-in art on the front. It's got some neat art on the back that should have probably been on the front, but it's not the original poster art, and it's kind of, I think it only supports an audio commentary uh, with some of the cast members and some behind the scenes home movies, TV spots, that kind of thing. It's kind of a get her done bare bones DVD. Uh, not a bad addition. I mean, the picture quality on this is pretty good. Sound quality is a little lackluster. But what you're here to, to recognize, if you will, today is the new Shout Factory release, transfer, and special features edition here. Not really what I would consider a collector's edition, mind you, but mainly a special edition with some new special features that differs from the DVD from before. Let's dive right in with those special features. Sports and audio commentary. I believe it's the commentary that was carried over from the DVD. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. <coughs> Pardon me. New interviews with writer-director George Romero, Tom Savini, and Ed Harris, and a few other folks. Uh, kind of talking about the behind the scenes of the film. It's all done by Registered Pictures. It seems like it was about a 40 minute documentary that they split up into individual interviews. Don't know why they did it that way, but they did it that way. You can watch them by person. Um, also, theatrical trailer, TV spots, uh, so forth on there. So it, it is basically a good all round special edition for this little known favorite. Basically what this movie encompasses is a renaissance fair traveling uh, acting troupe, if you will that does a joust show and uh, fair crafts, all that kind of stuff. For, it's like a traveling troupe, basically. Um, where it differs from uh, regular uh, traveling renaissance fairs that you may have been to yourselves, they don't joust on horses. They joust on motorcycles. You can kind of encompass a lot of Evil Knievel uh, style motorcycle stunts in the movie. This is a lengthy film. It's about two hours and 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. It, that's where it kind of suffers a little bit, but it's kind of a love letter uh, message from George Romero to you. Ed Harris's character of uh, King William in the film, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it, it reflects a lot of where George Romero was in his, his life. He was always fighting the, the, the movie system, trying to get into the movies, uh, wanting to go his own path and not go the path of the promoters and stuff like that and have to compromise all the time and not bring his full vision to uh, fruition. Hence this movie. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, familiar faces from all his previous efforts and movies that he would use also later on, and uh, characters that he would, uh, or actors he would like, uh, let them use in uh, character roles from later on in his other films. Sorry about that. Uh, basically, not a bad movie overall. It's, it's, it's a drama. It's really what it is. It's an action drama by George Romero. It's like I said, it, gore hounds out there that are just like strictly zombie George Romero fans that don't like anything but those are probably not going to like this movie and historically have not liked this movie. I've always championed it because it's one of those films that it goes overlooked. Forget it was, I mean if you're that kind of a, uh, I say go into it with an open mind. If you like motorcycle movies, if you like action movies, if you like movies that are just kind of off kilter, just to have a different kind of story to them, this is one you probably want to check out guys. In terms of picture quality and sound quality, the sound quality on this is totally cleaned up. I really enjoyed the sound quality. I'm going to give it a solid 3.0 out of 4. Um, and also a solid 3.0 for picture quality out of 4. This isn't, this isn't the best transfer ever I've ever seen on a Blu-ray, but at the same time, you got to remember, this was a low-budget film, kind of made guerrilla style back in the day. They were fighting a lot of elements. They talk about that in the, in the uh, documentary, fighting a lot of winter, uh, or excuse me, a lot of uh, bad weather, I should say, adverse weather. Uh, a lot of rain outs, a lot of flooding going on, things of that nature. So it's one of these films that just kind of guerrilla style, love letter, you know, family efforts of George Romero back in the day. You can tell he put his heart and soul in this film, and I really think a lot of people should be open-minded to seeing it. 
there again, solid effort from screen, uh, Shout Factory, I should say. Get out there, pick yours up if that's your cup of tea, if you want something a little different from the cadre of uh, George Romero's resume from back in the day that's a non-horror effort. You know, I'm a big fan of John Carpenter's non-horror efforts. You know, like movies like Assault on Precinct 13, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, kind of action comedy there, and Kung Fu, you know. There's all different kinds of things that directors have done, but a lot of times they get put into that niche of just horror only and things of that nature. So if you're looking for something a little different from one of your favorite directors in the horror realm, George Romero, I say pick this one up and try it out. Check it out. Rock on, dudes. Bye.